All right, guys, welcome back to Bad Kemper Videos with Dan. Uh, as always, please excuse the horrible video quality. Hopefully, it'll get you up and running pretty fast, though, on Kemper. So what we're trying to do today is we want to get the stomp boxes, so these guys here, to turn on and off using Ableton. And it's actually a really easy process. Um, there's one key to it that I'll show you that's really important. Actually, I'll show you right now. So I got this Kemper... Um, patch list. These are all your MIDI controls and it's by a guy uh, they can find it here called SuperheroGuitar.com. I'd recommend going to a site and grabbing this. But all we have to do to turn on and off the stomp box is if we go into our Kemper and I've done some videos before on how to control Ableton. So if I put in over here I've got uh, my Kemper on MIDI channel 1. We have two of them going but you can see that I've got the second one here. If I go over to this uh, I want to be able to have my stomp D go on. If you notice right now, my stomp D is off, but I'm going to um, start here. If I uh, if I switch here, you'll see when I press go, it switches. Boom, but stomp D is not on. Okay, so I want stomp D to go on. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to click on it. If you go down to the bottom of the screen then, where you normally have uh, you see where your, your bank is to be able to switch your bank there. If you go over to this thing, though, that's your MIDI controllers, and you see how it says pitch bend there. In this case, Stomp B, I know from that chart from Superhero Guitar, is uh, Stomp D, excuse me, is uh, number 20. And then all I'm going to do is go over here, if I can see my cursor. My cursor disappeared, sorry. It's hard to do this way. I know this is an awful way of doing this, but again, hopefully you get the idea. I'm going to just turn that up to 127. Um, I'm going to save that, so command save, and then if I go again, uh, let me turn, I'll just go to a different patch, so if I go there, now when I go to this and I hit go, it's going to turn this on, and you notice number D is on, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to y'all, and gets you up and running, and again, apologies for such bad videos.